So hello, this is the training on the liquid spring suspension system that's on the new rescues 40 and 41, the new rescue 30 that has been ordered and likely all new rescues for the foreseeable future. With this training you should be able to learn what the components of the system are, how to monitor the system for problems, and finally how to use the user interface and what the settings on it mean. The liquid spring system is a computer controlled hydraulic suspension. The first part you will notice are the two control links on each side of the vehicle. These locate the axle and keep it from moving forward and back, as well as keeping it from rotating while you're accelerating or braking. There's another link that goes from the frame to the top of the axle that locates the axle, keeping it moving from side to side. There are no leaf springs or coil springs. The vehicle is suspended by a hydraulic ram on each side that is connected to a reservoir tank that's mounted to the frame. The hydraulic fluid in the system is a proprietary silicone-based fluid that has a 6% compressibility, which is a little different than the regular hydraulic fluid we work with. It's stable to minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and a computer controls the ride height by pumping fluid from the reservoir in or out of the system and controls the suspension movement over bumps and vehicle leveling by controlling how much fluid is available to be compressed using a solenoid. The solenoid can make adjustments up to six times per millisecond. The fluid in the system is clear, which makes it difficult to see in the reservoir, so you'll have to put a flashlight up to the back side of the reservoir to see the level. During your truck checks, you should look for seeps and drops coming from the system. A seep will be noticeable on the ram or other components, and that can be normal. A leak will cause drips that will pool to one inch or more, and we'll be covering the bottom of the rig of the compartment box um, as it comes from the system and you're driving the air can splatter across the bottom of the box. So any drips over one inch in diameter and anything where you're seeing a lot of fluid on the bottom of the box should be written up in a work order. The user interface for the liquid spring system is in the cab. It's to the left of the steering wheel and looks like the picture on this slide. When starting the vehicle with the front wheels pointed straight forward or within 20 degrees of straight forward, you should see four yellow lights, one at each of the arrows, two green lights showing the ride setting and height setting, and you should see no red warning light located just above the on and off button. If the four yellow lights are not all showing with the wheels straight forward, the steering sensor needs to be recalibrated and just do a work order for that. For the ride setting, it should be in sport mode at all times. There's a common misconception that you use the sport setting on the highway, the comfort on a bumpy road. The settings here have nothing to do with ride quality. It only changes the speed that the computer adapts to changing road conditions and vehicle lean. We want it to adapt as fast as possible to help maintain control of the vehicle in emergency maneuvers, uh, keeping the patient compartment level, especially when we're transporting. In sport mode, there will be no sway side to side, even over uneven bumps. So again, keep the ride setting in sport at all times. The height setting controls height level of the box. It has three positions, high, normal, and low. The mid positions you see here light up to show when the truck is in transition from one level to another. Normal is for regular operations and driving. If you open the rear doors in normal mode, the vehicle will automatically go into low mode for getting the gurney in and out. Once the doors are closed with the vehicle running, it will go back up to normal ride height. If the vehicle's off, it will squat, but it will continue to stay there and won't come back up until the vehicle is started again. You can select low mode for tight overhead clearances, although it only provides a few inches of extra clearance and it only works below five miles an hour. The vehicle automatically goes to normal mode and will return to low when you're below five miles an hour or stopped again. You can also select low if the vehicle is not going into low mode when the back doors are opened. The high position can be used for clearance to clear the rear bumper or from high centering, but again only below five miles an hour. If the truck is in high position, the truck will not go into low mode when the back doors are opened. Let me repeat that. If the truck is in high position, it will not go into low mode when the back doors are opened. On the other side of that, if low position is selected, 
the truck will not come back up to ride height when the doors are closed. If at any time a truck is not responding when the back doors are open or closed, check the ride height selection on the user interface that's there in the cab. If the, if the system can't get to the selected height after trying for three minutes, it will show the red warning light above the, on the user interface above the on and off button. If you see this light, stop, get out, and check for leaks in the system, and check the reservoir level. If the system has lost fluid, the truck is out of service immediately. Call for a mechanic. If the system is still full, you can either turn off the truck and restart it, or turn off the liquid spring system with the on and off button, and then turn it back on. This resets the warning light, and it will try again for three minutes to reach the selected height. With no fluid in the system, this will burn out the pump and make a cheap seal repair and refill into thousands of dollars for a new pump and, a, and an extended out of service time. So if you have any other questions, you can ask any of the mechanics, you can call or ask myself, and we'd be happy to answer them for you. I hope this gives you some insight into the user interface and the lipid spring system that's on these new rescues. Thank you.